hey, how you doing? You trying to make actual videos or something? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm looking at myself through the other side of the camera in the mirror, reflecting back as I reach around and touch buttons. Why? You know, what are you looking at? Why are you putting that on my face? It's the phone. The phone comes alive. It fucking comes alive. You know, I'm interpreting because of my experience with this phone that it is fucked up. And forgetting that I made an agreement with the phone and my higher self that the amount of time that I'll spend looking at that screen has to be proportionate to the amount of time that I can look at my child's face and tell them something. Now, I haven't clocked in as many hours of that, and I was well aware of that. I was very well aware of that when I did, because somehow that sunk into my deeper consciousness, and shit, it's outside of my ability to fuck with now. There's nothing I can do about it, and that's good. I think that we as humans can be also so caught up in the moment and completely be disassociated from everything else in the universe that a practical realigning within those terms has to be made available. It just is. Because, number one, the amount of time that people are looking at these screens, what were they doing before t the year 2000? I had all kinds of shit I was doing. I didn't have a phone ru running around. I had a whole life. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, um, Stone Age shit. No, no, hell, no. I had a, it was a great, that was a greatly exciting time. The 90s? Other than the early 90s with the colors they, for some reason, promoted, by the end of it, it you didn't see that neon fucking shit, those electric yellows, all those colors. But why are you talking about colors? I think that the colors, how bizarre they are, and I think that's transgender ideology. And I think if, if you take the context of that, And if you're old enough and you've lived through it, you saw all the colors, you know, it might be a little different for somebody that may be like five to 10 years older than me. And the same would be, I don't know if it would apply to someone five or 10 years younger than me or not. With the younger group of people, to some degree, I expect them to have more. So I'm not going to infringe upon that freedom by using these crutches that I have to understand. Why do I need crutches for understanding? Because I have a lot of anger towards the use of these neon colors currently. 
And, you know, when I remember experiencing my life, fuck, I may have been a 10-year-old child or something like that. I'm now positing that with some different form of understanding, I'm looking at it like that. So maybe the 10-year-old or 8-year-old developmentally, which we all have. I'm not saying I'm a special retard. I'm saying we all have our inner child, and our inner, inner child has more of an ability to grasp and do something with things like, like, I don't know why it pisses me off, but I'm connecting these dots now. Because in the connecting of dots, or simply being honest, hey, this freaks me out. I don't understand it. I think it's wrong. Two, I know damn good and well that there are people with not good intentions trying to fuck with children with their minds. That pisses me off. And number three, it's almost always worked. In other cases, when there was a real problem, I needed to, you know, work it out. Every time, anger's the first thing that comes up. Once you can deal with anger, you've got so many different ways for your brain to process what the fuck is going on. And none of us are brain surgeons, except the one brain surgeon in there that doesn't comment. We wish you would tell us something. I can't, it would violate my study. Great. Now they're studying. Everything is an experiment. Everything is an invitation to learn more. Everything. I don't know everything. I don't know that. I don't know shit. I'm okay with that. But I can think in new ways other people don't think. Especially when provoked. For the most part... From that vantage point, I can see society as divergent as it is. Quit poking me in the eye. It's putting a circle in my eye, attempting to focus on me. And for some reason, stop doing it. What are you doing, camera? I'm just a lens. I don't have any control over my sphincter. Your lens apparatus controller? I like to call it a sphincter, too. All right, I'll agree with that. We'll call it a sphincter. One of the most useful things that I've had and made use of is talking to myself. Now, right off, you're going to say, well, that's, that's crazy. You think so. You think so. But the way that the mind works, everybody's mind, is that we have different categories, different areas, the altars that we have. You don't have to have an altar that is trauma separated from the group. Unless you're a satanic mind control robot. And then you need those. And then that's another that's another matter altogether. We put on the hat for this matter. This very special not tinfoil hat is tinfoil hat. Why? Because I bought it to be tinfoil hat. I bought it for my dad. He's got it pristine. You know what was weird about this? Is that I, I think I'm ordering one hat. Very special, protect your brain. I am in the belief that my brain comes from my dad. Now, I don't know where I heard this, but, I mean, obviously, it would be the structure of your brain, things like that, and it goes along that part of the, uh, the uh, Y chromosome. I 
like y. Now y versus x on chromosomes, let's look at that for a minute. Why do they say that? They say because when they look through the microscopes, they look a certain way. And then later on, someone says, hey, no, they, they're they just looking at it and seeing something very, very uh, rudimentary. And they actually did. I, I heard this later on. I'm not going to go into the details of the speculation, but there was something to that. Very arbitrary. But now we use it for, you know, if you're a you're male, you have an X and a Y. If you're a female, you have an X and an X. And that the male can give the Y or he can give the X. So it is the male that determines the sex of the child, depending upon his little swimmers. You know, and that's real fucking, that's about loose shotgun fucking science as you can get. Because I'm, I'm, in fact, a pseudoscientist. And a bad preacher. I am a preacher. I have the ministerial uh, license from the magazine. I actually got that from my last baby mama. It should be an indication of the problems with the whole thing right there. Because last baby mama was my friend's wife, who I was going to marry them, but they got married in some sort of weird proxy incarceration thing. I wish my friend wouldn't have had to spend so much time in prison. You know? But that's just the way it was. It's been a long time. But the world... Before these machines got involved, seems to be much fuller, enriched. Hell, I had a, I probably had a phone by then, but the phones weren't doing all these things that they're doing now. I had many after two thousand. It might have been a good ten years before I had a phone that really did anything worth a fuck, other than do. You know, I don't even know what people did with the phones before then. I know that I, I had one because I remember the first one that I, I got. I was working on the boats. Now, I returned to the boats in my dreams, and the boat was going all over the world. It was a tugboat. Now, it wasn't until after the dream, which means I woke up, and I thought about what had occurred in the dream. And I was trying to, I was trying to get the fuck out of there. And I was in India. Now, how did I know that? I'm, I'm not sure. But within a few hours after the dream, the dream, the dream was still available to me. And I could look at it. And I saw that I was in India. I don't rightly know. And I was like, well, I wouldn't have wanted to got out there. How the fuck would I have gotten back home? That's another common theme of the dreams is trying to get home and not being there, being somewhere out in the in the field. Now, this is the only place that feels like home other than my grandmother's house, which is now mine and my brother's. That that's a home that I feel like is my home, but I don't I don't want to go there. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind visiting. Well, maybe I would. I don't like going to Houston, and since I've been here, and I feel a, a real connection with the land that I haven't felt anywhere else in my life. I think partly because the river's in the back. Other than that, I don't. I don't entirely know. My dad's in the physical therapy place. I called him. I could barely talk. I couldn't find the 
the headphones in time. But with his voice the way it was, my phone attempting to mitigate that, but not really working. And I, I don't know. I don't think there's a problem with the phone. I do think it's AT&T. I w- couldn't get a hold of them to talk to them because it wasn't letting me do any of that. And I have another phone dialer that is now the primary phone that doesn't continually glitch and turn off like the, the phone does. The phone app. Are you really? My stomach is just <laughs> saying stuff. Didn't work immediately. Very fast. Did I get, I, I got phone repair thing on it now, uh, and it continually says it's doing stuff. What's it doing? Do you know it? Do you trust it? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I know that every single app, every single tool, every single thing you can download and put on your phone is potentially the enemy, and that's not a happy feeling. But I don't, I mean, I really don't give a shit. To some degree, we have what we have. You know, I can't worry about all of it. I'll try different things to remedy it. I discover all kinds of shit about these phones. But number one, they're not, they're not the great tool that you think they are. They're really not. This thing, to be perfectly honest, when the aliens came in Roswell, The aliens, the real thing, the real invader was the technology. That's my final thought. 